Are we on? Are we on, mother? No. We, we're going to try and go out. And if we don't manage it, you won't see us because there won't be a video. Yeah, he has just confused me. Anyway, Tom wanted to talk about something to do with elephants. The elephant in the room? Well, we're going to talk about on this one. Right, the elephant in the room is me. <laughs> right, if Steve Miller's watching from Fat Families, I have slipped off a little bit. <laughs> A little bit. Can we call it depression? Let's be kind. Yeah, I've not done too well healthy eating, so now I'm huge. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got our own elephant in the room. Let's try and go out. We're not going to go far because on tw Twitter it's now called Lex for some bizarre reason. You do realise because that's how close you are. If you are on, it, it, say someone's in a narrowboat and they're literally just about three foot away from the screen, you are going to be like to them like this. <laughs> no? Anyway, I announced that we were going out a couple of weeks ago. But I then fell down the stairs, head first, backwards. You were caught though, eventually. Yeah, I guess, yes. Um, so we're going to try again. Now, we've been in this morning for quite a while now, but we haven't, we haven't been out. And it was put in for us, wasn't it? It was put in for us, so this is our first And actually it was put in, it in a gale, wasn't it? They had to, they had to do it in a gale. So we're going to, in theory, it should be easy, it should be. There, Walk there. it up to that boat there. Push the front off. Elef and, elephant man jumps on. And hope that we don't meet any boats. Yeah. I'm sure I'm going to make a million mistakes because, as you all know, if you haven't been on the boat for a few months and then you get out, you get to a lock and you're like. It's a year since we were lost. Is it? Since we moved. Oh, but you know what I mean? No. Anyway. Ooh, ooh, ooh. If you do have any any stories of, of, of being off the boat and then getting it completely wrong, please let us know because it might make us feel better for the errors that we're about to make now. Yeah. Can you hear that? Oh, I like that. I can't! Jesus, no, how? Somebody else has turned into a bit of an elephant. Right, come on, we're going. She's heavy. God, how heavy is she?
got it in my head now, I know what to do. I need to be where that man is. What? Well, I know how to do it now. I have to do it in the end. Yep, uh, sign me out. Uh, First time I've touched a till in how long? Oh. There you go. Oh, and she broke it. We're a bit rusty. Do you know, I doubt, I don't think, because nobody watches our channel, but that guy called Mark, thank you. What a nice man. You never know whether they're being kind or whether they're just protecting their own boats. Uh, after the, after the green, green boat. The third one. Yeah. Hi, you alright? Hi. Hiya. Could have gone in here actually. Yeah, we're going down there. Yeah, we're going How's he caught us up? We're not going slow, are we? Oh, we are. Oh. Anyway, journey's end. Journey's end, we're not we're not in the morning. I wanted to go here, I like it here. You ready? Yeah. Well I'm gonna get the nail That guy said Now you've emptied our bread cupboard. Haven't you? And you still haven't told me what your names are. Quack. If Judd Judy was here now, she'd say, Uncross your hands! Judd Judy, short. Like a dinner lady from the bloody 90s. So? So? What did you do? Yes, now, you've already been alerted to the fact that Tom ended up in the canal. But what did you do? But people have jumped to the conclusion that he fell in the canal. No, I jumped. But but he, he leapt into the canal. Yeah, but what did you do? Well, we've only come from the other side of the bridge. This was an experiment to see if I'm up to it. And the evidence suggests that I'm not. When we travel, we take the pram hood down and the sides come off and get folded up and put on the roof of the boat. But if the roof ever goes up, they go out of the way because they're not not secure up there, are they? No, well, when the sides go on the roof, then the centrepiece gets folded over on top of them yeah. and holds them in place. But... but um, who undid it and who moved them out of the way and then went to sleep and didn't tell anyone that, that they weren't where they so were supposed we pulled, to be? So when we moored up, we oh. pulled the centre bit up and left the, the folded up sides on the roof of the boat. And didn't tell me, because I'd have moved them. And then I came down here and fell asleep watching Judge Judy. And it was quite a few hours afterwards, wasn't it? 
that we noticed that they weren't there. Do you know, you said that. You didn't say it how He's paraphrasing because I said a lot of swear words when I asked where they were. Yeah, it is. Anyway, there was only one place they could be because the wind is blowing from the land across and it got up quite windy as it is now. Yes. And uh, You put the pole in, discovered that there was one where I could kind of get a flap but it was a little bit too far from the pole and I couldn't get it all out. Yeah, so we went and asked Paul who's moored just in front of us. He's nice and he's an engineer and he's, uh, he, he can come up with all kinds of ways of fixing things and he, he probably would have come up with a great idea but I didn't let him because... Well. While he was toying with the idea of how we were going to get him out, Tom said, and stripped off down to his underwear. My bottoms are shorts and your t-shirt, because I'm not going in mine. And leapt off the boat. And Paul, bless him, said several things. One of them was, he's got bigger Well. And the other thing was, he said, well, I never thought it was that deep here, because <laughs> he disappeared. Didn't I you? must admit, you know, that did take me to surprise. Because as I was going in the water and I was just going down, down, I'm thinking, when am I going to touch the floor? And so, I'm not a brilliant swimmer, am I? Well, I've always said, when people say, what happens if you fall off? I always say, stand up. Well, not on this particular section of the middle, which... Yeah, so it, it's not that steep there. I had to float because I couldn't touch the floor, but then I had to keep with my feet touching the floor because I needed to feel where the, uh, the canopy was. And I found the first one pretty easy, didn't I? Yeah. And then the second one was nowhere near the boat. It was about 12 foot away from the boat because we, we thought, well, they'll float and they've been a hazard to ship in. Thought they'd end up around somebody's prop. So we were looking up and down the canal and now they weren't anywhere. So it said there's only one place they could have gone, that's to the bottom. Anyway, amazingly. We I found the second one, but it was nowhere near. Oh, it was only I'd been in there ages, so there was a boat coming, so I thought, oh I better get out of the way before I end up on Facebook with bloody camera. <laughs> And for those of you, because I, I had announced it on Twitter, and for those are of you, you... Are you weren't supposed to? ...who asked if I'd videoed it, no, because I value my life. What did I say would happen if you videoed me? It doesn't bear thinking about. No, I just said that it wouldn't be the canopy that would, that would be going for a swim. Yeah. So there you go. Tom ended up in the canal, but he didn't fall in. Do you know what, though? On a serious note, I hadn't decided I was going to do it until my feet entered the water. <laughs> I kept thinking, do I do it, do I do it? Oh, f well, yeah. So, so there you go. So God knows, with all the sewage and everything, God knows what disease well, I've got Well, thankfully, now. we'd got a tank full of hot water, so the show was... Nice and toasty. Well, because of the washing machines. Well, because of the water pump, I hadn't done it. I'd left it. You opened the door to to clear it out for me while I was getting dry and that, and it was right up to the ledge, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, anyway, we survived. So this little trip out has been very, very, very stressful. <laughs> there's been a little bit of video getting here. This is an explanation, but no video to what happened, because I value my life. And then the next bit will be when we go back. You don't want to see me and me. I mean, to be honest, we, when Paul said I've got bigger bolts than him, I don't know if if it was the fact that you know bravery 
or the underpants that I was wearing, the elastic's a bit old, so I don't know. <laughs> I've probably been flashing. And it's a good job Paul was here because oh God, we had a I couldn't get him out. <laughs> well, right, I'd read on, on Fizzock book, right, all you do is, you, with your rope, you tie it on something else, you, and then you put your foot in, and you use your arms, and you just... Gently pull yourself up. Uh, it must be all the muscle Marys that do that because the, I tried. There was no way. I just kept out of the way. The only way we could get, I, I got mostly up, and then Paul, who's had a heart attack in the past, had to drag me by my other leg. Bless him. Anyway, next time I promise I'll video it. So while I'm still alive, I'm going to end it there.